I have two temp tables. One to declare of uh, the table, and then you need to use the insert into the second temp table. I didn't declare the table like the members. I have two, two CTE. The first CTE is called member occupation. The second uh, CTE is called member location. And then I combine this into um, the joining here. First joining, um, I have this um, from temp tables, first one, second temp tables, and then I join with my CTE. And then I do another join using a subquery right here. And then I, at the end, I use the subquery joining. There are two temp tables. One, I declare uh, the members table and the other one I, I didn't declare it. The first one I used the insert in, into. The second one I just used the into after the select statement. The difference between these two, when you declare your temp tables, then you have to use insert into. The benefit of this if let me explain to you about this one this guy's first if you didn't declare the table then you use into and then the temp tables name so any record sets the data type the characters length it's based on that physical table but when you declare a table 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 you can you can add, you can expand this far chart. If you insert a data longer than 50, if you use this type of temp table, it won't work because the maximum is 50, is 50. But if you have 60 first name or last name, this into won't work. But here you can adjust. If it's 60, then you can adjust this to 60. Then if you insert anything from here, that the select statement that has 60 character of the first name or last name, then you are fine. So these this are the difference between using the insert into or just the into. Then uh, after the temp table, I start with my CTE. You see, I, I put the semicolon. You have to put the semicolon because I have script above before the width. So CTE syntax started with uh, width and then your CTE name. And then this is just the select statement. So I, I output this select statement to my first CTE and then my second select statement to be my second uh, CTE member location. So I have two CTE now. Then in my final set, I do select statement from my first temp table. Then I join my second temp tables. You see this uh, one hashtag. That's a local temp table. So I use the member ID to join between these two temp tables. Then I join, left join to my first CTE, uh, actually my second CTE, member log, you see? The joining key is the member ID between the, the member log location to my members temp tables then I do left join using the subquery you see when you do joining Vijaya you join with the tables right so think about subquery like for example this one I do the left join with the subquery the subquery I have here is it's just like a select from this table. Um, the member occupation is my first CTE, correct? 
that CTE coming from this statement right here. So this is a table. So when I do left join, think about you know like when I when we do joining from table A table B, this is consider a table, but they are coming from CTE. Correct. Now, if you want to join back to the old members, let's say you want to match this member ID with the table, the old members, old members table. Let's say you want to see, um, you want to make sure the output that you you want, it has to have the members ID in the mem old members table. So you want to do joining, correct? So basically, you can do select. everything from you want to select everything from this set right okay because this is a table remember when I ran this without the select this is considered a table right when you do select all think about from I always think about from a table so I turn this entire script into um, a table because this is basically the output is a table right here correct a table has a columns and rows so the reason I put X here when you do a subquery like this you need to have to put alias this is the alias so the correct so you want to put the alias here as an X and you want to have this X dot everything meaning select everything from this set right yeah you can put yeah you can put XYZ XYZ you know any alias that you think work for you yeah and then I do a joining let me put this back as an X then I do a joining with the old members tables I wanna make sure that the entire set here the member ID has to match with the old members so I do inner join again I do uh, I won't do this but let's let's find out about um, the the entire set joining back with the old members so I have 11 11 uh, records right with this set correct then when I join back with, when I joining back with the old members that give me five records that means that this entire sets member ID only five members that listed in the old members 